This diagram helps explain the fluid movement across the capillary. So if this is the capillary here, we have the arterial end, which is going to be closest to the heart, and we have the venule end, which is going to be further away from the heart. The fluid exchange is occurring across the capillary and into the interstitial fluid. There's two pressures that we have to look at. In purple, we have the blood hydrostatic pressure, and in green, we have the blood colloid osmotic pressure. Blood hydrostatic pressure, as you will see, is an outward force tending to force fluid out of the capillary. The blood colloid osmotic pressure is an inward force tending to move fluid into the capillary. So we have two opposing forces. Look at the blood hydrostatic pressure and you will note that the hydrostatic pressure decreases as you move away from the heart. So the arterial end is going to have a significantly higher blood hydrostatic pressure than the venule end. Blood colloid osmotic pressure on the other hand is relatively constant and the inward force is not much different from the arterial end compared to the venule end. What we now want to look at is where these two lines intersect. So if we drag this line over we will see that the intersection occurs approximately there. At the arterial end you can now see that the blood hydrostatic pressure is greater than the blood colloid osmotic pressure. So the outward force is greater than the inward force. At the venule end on the other hand the blood colloid osmotic pressure is greater than the blood hydrostatic pressure. At the arterial end, therefore, this outward force is greater than the inward force, so you're going to have a net movement out. Okay, this is called filtration. At the venule end, where the inward pressure exceeds the outward pressure, you're going to have a net movement in, which is called reabsorption. If the outward and the inward were equal, then there would be no net movement of water because it would move out and then it would move right back in again. However, as you can see, it's shifted and the outward movement is greater than the inward movement. So the net, or sorry, the filtration is greater than the reabsorption. So what we want to look at now is the overall pressure, if you were to take the arterial and venule end together, and this is called the net filtration pressure. And you will note that because the outward force is greater than the inward force, the filtration is greater than the reabsorption, the net filtration pressure is going to be an outward force.